In Olympic basketball and volleyball, getting up for the game means more than just being psychologically prepared. In these sports, getting up means jumping, having the ability to score points, and prevent them. There's more to jumping than just spiking a volleyball. There's more to jumping than dunking a basketball. But is jumping ability simply a gift, or can it be improved? At the U.S. Olympic Training Center in Colorado Springs, Colorado, Dr. Peter Francis, biomechanic consultant to the USOC, explains. We're using two pieces of equipment to examine jumping ability. The first is a force platform that measures the forces that the athlete exerts against the ground just prior to takeoff. The second and more useful piece of equipment is a high-speed video system that allows us to record each jump as it is performed. By a careful process of programming critical parts of the body on the video screen, experts are able to recreate an athlete's jump in the form of an animated stick figure. Steve Timmons, Olympic volleyball's most valuable player in the 84 games, is videotaped here on a jump and reach measurement gauge. The tape is programmed into a special computer frame by frame, producing a stick figure model. Dr. Francis analyzed the results of Steve's jump. In this jump, he, he touched a height of 11 feet, 2 inches. During that time, we can see that his center of gravity was raised up 34 inches from his starting position. As a result of his remarkable natural ability and about five years of intense training, we can see that he is now an expert jumper in all aspects of this particular skill. Karen Kemner one of the premier players in the women's U.S. volleyball team, was also analyzed by Dr. Francis. This graphic reveals that Karen is probably deficient in the speed with which she approached the jump, and she did not use her arms vigorously enough as she left the ground. To increase Karen's jumping height, she was put on a special weight training regimen designed to improve her arm strength and flexibility. Karen's jumping ability was then remeasured to analyze the effect of her training. The graph compares Karen's ability before and after that training program was implemented. We'll see a marked improvement in the height of the jump as a result of the improvement in the approach velocity and the arm swing. We can see that Karen is actually going about four inches higher than she was previously. The vertical jump is now 26 inches. We've had the opportunity to examine another outstanding athlete, David Robinson. And we can see that his jumping ability has contributed to his remarkable play in basketball. Dr. Francis programs David's jump into the computer and compares Robinson's results with volleyball Steve Timmons. After tracking the jumping patterns of Robinson and Timmons, results indicate that Timmons is the more powerful jumper, raising his center of gravity three inches higher than Robinson's. This technology measures jumping agility, velocity, and height, and has become a key training aid. The objective of the research program has been to improve the flexibility, the strength, and the mechanics of the jumping of each of these athletes. 